Sonia and Sasha, for real. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. You're listening to Brim Bank Live on Live FM, and this is the Sonia and Sasha for Real Show. Welcome back to Friday. Is that how you say it? Friday. Yeah, Friday's my favorite day. I look forward to this day because it's the only time I actually have some sort of socialization because the rest of the time I'm locked in this house with my kids. <laughs> a week and an hour and a half because we have a production meeting before to ourselves. Oh, it's absolute bliss. Oh. So we've had we've got the most amazing show lined up for you today. I think we have a little theme going on here, Sash. Last week had last week we had Brooklyn, DJ Big uh, Brooklyn from Brooklyn, and we've got some more amazing people uh from Brooklyn today. We've got uh we have got We've also got some, like, we've got these people that are in here today that are going to go do, 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 like they're (laughs) delving into the psychic world. They're going to be able to tell you things that you didn't even know about yourself, Sonia. Like, this is like, this is like the awakening of the awakenings. This is the opportunity for us. Not only are we going to find out a little bit about ourselves and some stuff in the future, but our listeners are also, because we've got some live readings going on on this show as well. I'm so pumped about that. That means people can Join in right now and hear about what's going to happen. So we've got Charlie from Charming Awakening and we've got Candy, who's a medium. So she speaks to people who have crossed over to the other side. And we've got quite a stash up there. We've got a crew. We have a whole basketball team up there. So (laughs) I'm sure they're just hanging out to like send us some messages today. So I'm so excited. So we've also had a big week with uh, lockdown. We're the hardest lockdown in the world now. I believe we've been in in, uh, COVID uh, Lockdown since 1974. That's how long we've been in lockdown. That's how long it feels like it anyway. And people are going mental out there. Like oh. they're, they've, they're losing their mind. Did you know, Sonia? Well, we're losing we our have... minds. Oh. We're losing our minds on a daily basis because we're homeschooling, which you've heard a little bit about. <laughs> I'll tell you a bit more in a second. But people we are had, crazy, yeah. Sash. We've What's had, going on? Well, this is what it is. Now, don't give my statistics much credit because I probably get them from Instagram. <laughs> right? <laughs> But I have read that 174,000 people have been calling the COVID line to dob on people. That is to dob on the. I don't know. Is there another word for dobbing? Telling on. No, them? I like, don't think so. The, uh, the, is there yeah. a universal well, that's a good, word for dobbing? That's the uh, that Aussie is, word, anyway. That is a yeah for for. You know, for um, they're being a bit shady. If you think that somebody's being a bit shady, they're calling the hotline and and telling on you. Uh, and so, I know. Yeah. And so you've even got some things that have people been dobbed on. <laughs> well, I just love it because it's all such serious news that we're, we're getting here. And every time that the, you know, the purple ads come on the TV, you know, everyone stresses out a little bit. And then you see Dan Andrews who jumps on the screen and tells us how naughty we've been overnight with our cases. And, you know, unfortunately we've lost lots of lives well, here in Victoria as well. So it's all very serious, mm-hmm. but we have, um, so we have this crazy people who are getting fined for doing funny, funny things, I think. So uh, I want to tell you a few of them because I've collected them over. So when they report the serious news in the media, they also report the funny stuff, okay, which I love and we gravitate towards whatever is funny. And as we told you on the show last week, you've got to laugh because that releases all kinds of great chemicals into your brain and we all need it right now. Oh, so I want to tell you my... My top favourite uh, ways that people have been busted doing the wrong thing for COVID. So okay, tell us. Uh, there was a lady, because we're not allowed to travel any more than five kilometres, which for our list New York is about listeners. two miles-ish. Yeah, it's I not far. Say. It's not far at all. You can walk further than that. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Further than that, just to go to get some bread. So, you know. And there's police and army all over the place checking us out. So we get pulled over and you need to have a reasonable excuse as to why you're out. The only excuse is, as we all know, you can go uh, to care for somebody, go to the doctor, get something, you know, from the supermarket or, or go to the chemist, basically, or go to the doctor. That's the only reasons you're allowed to be out. So these are my favourite ones. There was a lady who travelled more than 30 kilometres to get a yoghurt. And when they pulled her over, she said, I was getting yoghurt. <laughs> Yogurt, and they said, why couldn't you go to your local yogurt shop? And she said, couldn't possibly, this one's way better. So I had to travel outside the 5Ks for a yogurt. No, I haven't finished yet. No, can man- I just ask, I actually want to know what that yogurt is because well, it's, if it's worth traveling 30 k for i've got nothing else to do i mean the minute they open up our 30 hour <laughs> limit for us to drive i'm going to be taking 
I want to know because it's potentially it's worth a sixteen hundred dollar yogurt. So I want to know what this yogurt's like. <laughs> well, okay. it must be damn good because it costs a lot of money. Yeah. That yogurt. Hope That's it's, right. Hopefully yeah. it's frozen with some nuts on it. There was a man who breached his curfew because he didn't want to pay the Uber Eats charge. So he didn't want to sting for five bucks to, to for Uber Eats <laughs> to deliver his food. He had to go out and say oh, it's sixteen hundred dollars now, mate. Too bad. Two people were busted for ordering enough KFC for twenty people. So when you let me let me just give you a little bit of public service announcement. If you're busted in KFC and they say, well, have you got enough food for 20 people? You say you're very hungry and you have a problem. You don't say because I've got 20 friends that I'm buying for. That's what you do, right? Yeah, but, oh, so hang on a minute. This was that they were actually telling people that they were having a party because I could potentially, I'm eating enough KFC for 20 people. <laughs> Let me tell you now, I'm doing that on my own. That's how much eating I'm actually doing. Wait, there's even better ones, Sash. A Victorian couple drove to New South Wales to recycle cans. That was their excuse. I mean, how do you look oh. at police officer in the face and say, oh, I'm recycling cans and that's why I need to get out of my $1,600 fine. A man breached his curfew and he was found on the streets and the police said, why are you out here? And he said, I'm out here to buy drugs. That's what he said to the police. <laughs> I'm out here to buy drugs. Well, didn't actually somebody get busted for putting their uh, garbage bin out and they kind of just went for a little walk outside their garbage bin? <laughs> like they just garbage went bin. outside. Yeah, somebody's actually been told off for putting their bin out past uh, lockdown time because also we have a lockdown time so we can't yes. be out past eight o'clock as well do, do you actually find that at about seven forty-five you start to get a little bit of anxiety and you think Absolutely. if i need something right now yeah like what am I, I can't actually go out i saw somebody post last night at um i think it was like eight forty-five. their son had lost their tooth and they didn't have any cash in the house like nothing they didn't have like not even 20 cents. They didn't have enough. They couldn't go out and get any money for the tooth fairy. Surely, surely they're going to let you out for this, for the tooth fairy. Well, do you, mean, what do you do? What do you do? Do you actually say to the police, I've got to go to the ATM, that I've got to get, get a bit of change? <laughs> if not, my kid gets a 20 for the tooth fairy. Who knows? I owe you for the tooth fairy. I owe you for the tooth fairy. In. <laughs> or you'd be realistically, you'd be going through your house scrummaging for any cash that you've got. Like if you've got that $1, that's all you're getting, kid. you got five cents. <laughs> Yeah, or you potentially you could do another currency. You know how like every every now and then you'll find that th those, especially like when you go to Indonesia or something mm. like that, you've got all those coins that are really worth like nothing. That's what the tooth fairy is giving right now. The leftover oh. coins from another country because that's well, all you got. A, yeah, my son's a multimillionaire. Whips out his Indonesian currency. <laughs> he's like, I mean, he's a big piece of ball all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> This is my, <laughs> this is my favourite though. Um, and just before I tell you this, just that all that uh, one that got caught on the street saying, "I want," <laughs> I was right here buying drugs. The very best call I've ever heard for Triple O. If you, Triple O is like our nine one, is like the states when you call nine nine one one. A person called the police and they said, uh, you know, 911, what's your emergency or triple zero, what's your emergency? And they said, my drug dealer has put up their prices on their drugs. <laughs> oh, because, because they've got to get I'd one like to, to report to them, please. Like <laughs> <laughs> they've got to get someone to come out and do that. I'm so, so upset they had to report it to the police. Anyway, this is locally COVID best bust of the week. Okay, you ready? The best bust. Three people got so sick of COVID lockdown, they got themselves a blow up boat. Okay, one of those, they went to Kmart, got themselves a blow up dinghy, chucked it on a lake in Caroline Springs and got smashed, got out in the, in the middle <laughs> of the lake. And the cops had to row out and go get the three COVID busts. And did they get yeah. fined as well? all of them fine ah I tell you what the police each. are making a whole lot of money on that that's how we're actually paying all our bills you know because uh we're, we're well, it's it's kind of like it's siphoning they, they're giving people job keeper but then they're taking it off them because they're actually finding them really you know one fine is one bit of money that you've got for your whole month to me i had a um i had a tooth uh, tooth episode i had to go in i was in a bit of pain had to drive into the city break my five kilometer radius but oh, i had the you. you know the appointment with the dentist so i was all set hang on when, when, you, dentist, when you start talking about breaking your five kilometers you know that's a bit of a do dirty talk to me don't oh, you I was, like I, was going going I, I was going clubbing to the <laughs> endodontist you, you know did you get dressed oh, up did you get dressed I, up? I had to put i had to put shoes on and normal pants oh, that didn't stretch. Like shoes it, was, so long. it was hard work there's a lot of construction that goes on to put that in now so i'm i'm in so I'm in the city and of course we're in lockdown so no one's allowed to be there and there was a little slip over the park you know the parking um meter yeah, yeah. saying out of order so I thought I'm going to park right in the front I'm in a bit of pain I need to head up to the, uh, the dentist's office and no one's allowed in the city so we're in lockdown and there's no parking inspectors so I go up get my tooth sorted out come down bang 
fine, $165, $165 fine. So I thought, oh, that's surely. your job keeper. That's your job surely keeper. Not. <laughs> surely not, right? Surely this couldn't happen. Wrote a letter into the council and said, listen, I was in pain. We're in lockdown. Da, 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 da. Thought I had a reasonable excuse. Right, letter if it comes back. No, nah, bad luck. Got to pay you fine. I was like, oh, we're in a pandemic, people. Can't you understand that you cannot find me $165 in a pandemic? This is ridiculous. Mm. Anyway, a day later, I get another email from that council with a survey saying, how did we do? <laughs> Hang on a second. They got back to you so quickly. In any other time, they at least take 28 days to get back to you. But when you have to pay their money, they get back to you straight away. The irony gonna, and all of that. Okay? What do you think I'm going to say on that survey, Sasha? Oh, I'm going to say that you were crabola and One that star. was not right. Yep. One star. Now, would not recommend. Bring bank, the live, bring bank Live, Live FM, we have got another one of our New York pieces of gold that we're actually bringing back to everybody. And this is somebody, these are two people, not just one. We've got two today, two Brooklyns, two Brooklyns in the house are right here. And they're going to tell us a little bit about what it's like to be a psychic. And then they're going to do some live readings. Bring Bank Live, Live FM, Sonia and Sasha for real. Thank you so much for listening to Bring Bank Live and Live FM. You're with the Sonia and Sasha for Real Show and we're so happy that you've joined us today on this beautiful Friday. That song, I need to tell you, was from a, a, a friend of mine who I met when I was doing a seminar. You know, sometimes Sasha, Sasha and I are professional speakers and we go into schools and universities all the time and, and there's just this one person who just shines out of the audience and I, I was so drawn to this young person. They came up and chatted to me at the end and they're a musician and that's their song, Staying Away From Me, which was dropped last night and they have... Uh, Peter Cara. So please go and follow Peter Cara. And thank you so much for sending in any fresh music because we love to support new music on Brimbank Live and Live FM. Uh, this is going to be one of our favourite segments, I think, Sasha, coming up. And I'll let you introduce, please do the introductions. Ooh. It's a segment that we're introducing every week. We started last week with uh, DJ Big Brooklyn. But this is our new segment called... Uh, new York Minute. New York Minute. Sonia and Sasha, Sonia and Sasha, yeah. yeah. All right, so we've got a couple of fantastic guests today. Who have we got, Sasha? Oh, okay, so we have got Candy and Charlie. Now, these guys, they're psychics, they're tarot readers. They are able to do your astrology. They will focus on everything that, about you. And do you know what, Sonia? We actually met them at an event while being in New York. And this is like, you know, when people talk about, oh, I saw this psychic and I saw this one and da-da-da-da-da and I don't know if they gave anything accurate. Well, let me tell you, this is, when we say for real, this is for real because we were at an event and Charlie, she just came up to me and we just started chatting within a couple of minutes like, I mean, poured out my life to me. And in that moment, changed my life because I we just connected started telling me all these things it was you know people will say oh you know how much did they charge this was nothing like that Charlie mm. just poured out all of this information to me and I think that in within minutes like I was crying we connected she told me all of this stuff and then I just said we're actually going home tomorrow how do we stay in touch we've been staying in touch on social media every time we've been back to New York we hang out with these two ladies yes. they've become our friends <laughs> and we just love them and they are psychics and astrologists and mediums can we please welcome charlie mm -hmm. and candy Woo! Woo! Hey. hey what's up uh. <laughs> <laughs> the coolest the coolest psychics around but you guys have, but firstly can everyone please make sure that they follow these guys on social media King Charming and uh, Dolled Up Candy because really you guys are constantly doing readings all the time for people can you just please tell us how did you even know you had this gift um well it started basically when, when I was like about 15 where I was like playing using playing cards where I really knew that people were kind of telling me with the playing cards because I would start letting them know like hey this and this and this is gonna happen out of nowhere and they would be like uh a week later or a couple of days later like hey this has happened when I was 11 I knew with my family, but it didn't fully kind of like hit me till I was about 15. And then I really didn't do anything with it because I started going down a different path. And then as I got older, um, somebody was like, hey, you know, I think you're really good at this. 
you know, you use just regular playing cards. Have you ever had tarot cards? And I said, no, not really. And then um, they gifted me tarot cards. And from there, um, I had gone to someone who was a really good friend of mine um, and family member. Her name was Titi Lisa, God rest her soul. She helped, uh, you know, develop me a little bit more so I can understand. And then from there, it's all history. By the time, you know, three years ago happened, I hurt my arm. I couldn't work. Uh, I grabbed the cards, I grabbed my phone, and the rest is history. So you for, actually, for people who don't know what, how a psychic operates or how a psychic works, can you explain what happens when you do a reading, Charlie? Can you tell us, like, do you get voices? Do you see things? Do you hear, do you feel things? Like there's lots of, how does a psychic operate so that people know? Well, I'm a tarot card reader. So there are okay. different levels of psychics. Yep. Um, you know, some are clairvoyant, some have clairaudience, some have, you know, just kinetic kind of uh, telekinesis and things like that. The different levels, right? Yeah. Um, like candy, candy is a medium. Um, so for me, the tarot cards are my tools. And it's 10% cards, 90% intuition. Sometimes I hear things, sometimes I feel things, mainly I see them because I'm looking at the cards. Um, but I have um, a lot of energy that comes to me. So mm -hmm. there are moments where I've met people um, in events, in clubs, in bars, in things like that. And I'll, I won't need cards, I just read them. And it's, they get so astonished by just me doing that. It's almost like if at first it was a party trick and then it turned <laughs> into something that was really like a business because I had, I used to have people following me around in the clubs, you know, and kind of like following me, asking me like more and more wanting to know more. And I'm like, dude, like you're draining me. Um, <laughs> because it's a lot. I think you that know, was me. I think that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't need to go to the DJ to request a song. I just came to you and said, I'm requesting a life. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. I'm requesting a reading. What do you know about my life, please? But that's exactly what happened to us. Like we didn't even connect like that. Literally you were just pouring out some information to me and it just was incredible the way you just knew everything about me. So within a second, yeah, so that's, that's exactly one of those happened. moments. And I think that's when it's meant to be because from yeah. that moment, we all just connected and not only did you give me a reading in the most unusual places, but you literally, like, we just became friends. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that's what really shows a great psychic because you've just been able to just tap into my energy as we literally walk past. But Candy, you've got something different. Tell us what you're feeling. How do you get these messages? Well, it started... Uh at a young age, probably around like eight years old, 10, when I started having dreams. Um, and it's just, it just got more stronger as I got older. I started being able to connect with the spirit world and even loved ones that had passed on. And it's something that either I can feel it Sometimes it, it will come to me naturally. I can just be sitting here like talking with you and I could automatically get this like vision or a memory of maybe your loved one that wants to come in and kind of get a message to you. Uh, but yeah, that's mostly. Hers is different because yeah. it comes out of nowhere. You know, where she she can be sitting there doing absolutely nothing. And then all of a sudden she'll have this like stare. And I'm just like, are you okay? And then she'll just start telling me things. And I'll be like, whoa, like where did that come from? Or how did you know that? Mm -hmm. So when I first met her, um, it was an instant connection. I mean, instantly, like we locked eyes and it was just beautiful butterflies and like rainbows from there. Oh. And I knew though immediately that she had a gift and she didn't let anybody know. So this is actually the first time she's letting people know that she has this gift. Oh, yes. you guys we love that. We love so that. This is the, yeah. 
But well, anyway, my, my family members know. Is my her, family members know. Um, her, her coming out party. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. We're here. Do you know what I love about your relationship? Because because you're you're all engaged. But I love. I think about this and go. You two could not. You know, you know exactly what's going on before it all happens, right? Is that, is that what happens? Yeah. Do you yeah. look at each other and go, yeah. yeah, right? So you can't get away yeah. with anything. There's Everybody knows no what's going on. Thing. It's like, I'm going to have Never. an ice cream yeah. in the corner. I, I know what you're doing. <laughs> I know what you're doing. Yeah. What's it actually and like being in a relationship where the other person is also psychic, but because you're both psychic at different levels, what's that like? Mm. It's intense. Ha, it's intense. It's very high energy. Uh you know, I think being with Charlie, my gift has gotten definitely stronger because of the crystals around us, because of the, even the cards. Yeah. Um, I noticed that it brings out the spiritual realm. Um, it's more stronger. It's a more stronger connection. Definitely. It, Ooh, it's I really intense. All right. So well, what you do, Charlie, cause, because, because, I've been watching you for such a long time because we've nearly known you for three years now and yeah. I watch you. So you get onto Facebook and you do a live and then you go through all the Zodiac signs and literally do one reading after another so people can actually tap in to their own Zodiac sign and then people can ask questions during the live and you're just giving out this information. You'll sometimes do this for two, three hours. Yes. Um, I don't allow people to ask questions just because of the fact is if I allow one person to ask a question, then I feel like I have to allow everyone to ask a question. And that in itself is very draining. And I, I'm, I'm a Libra, so I, everything has to be balanced for me. And if it isn't balanced and if it isn't fair, then I don't do it because I, I have to be fair to everyone. So I can't just answer one person's question about something that has to do with the cards and not feel obligated to answer everyone. Mm, yeah. They're just the same. It's the same with giving someone a free reading. I can't sit there and give you a free reading if I'm charging the other person. That mm. to me isn't right. Um, if and, and I can't not charge because if I don't charge, then I'm going to be completely drained and exhausted. So there has to be a balance. And a lot of people, I used to have people tell me, um, well, if you have this gift, you should give it to everybody for free. And it's like, no, because I still have bills to pay. Like, I, <laughs> you need to you eat. Know, you need to eat. Like, yeah. If you're going to sit there and drain me of my energy, like I, the least you can do is, you know, Give me an ice cream. Give me a little something. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not for a lot. Give me an ice cream. Just give me a little bit. No. You know, All right, so we're going to do some readings after the break. We're going to get you to go through and maybe come up with a little something, something for uh, what you're feeling maybe for us and go through the zodiac signs. So I can't wait for that. Please stay tuned. We'll go to a break now. Thank you for listening to Bring Bank Live on Live FM. This is a Sonia and Sasha for Real show with Charlie and Candy. You're listening to Brim Bank Live on Live FM. This is a Sonia and Sasha for Real Show. Welcome back to segment two with our, or part two of our psychic and medium show today with Charlie and Candy from New York City. And oh, you know what? Do you know what, Sasha? I've been, I've been fascinated by psychics and by mediums. My mum took me to my first psychic reading when I was 12 years old. I remember this. And wow. yeah, so I've had such a long experience and I've had some with both had some really interesting experiences with psychics over the years mm. and you know like I, there's been th some things that have happened that have completely been well they've completely changed our life and so absolutely. i am so excited because charlie you're going to give us all you're going to flip uh, sonia and i a bit of a card and then you're going to give everybody else a reading so can i give you permission to enter my field of energy yes please. <laughs> um, definitely <laughs> So, so a psychic uh, tarot card reader um, that is very respectful always asks for permission because the last thing you want to do is tap into someone's energy without their permission. And then, you know, it, it can kind of come back to you. So I always ask for permission. So do I have your permission yes, to tap you into do. your energy? Yes, you do, so darling. I was shuffling because you had already given me your permission from before. And the top card is the devil card, which is actually Capricorn. Okay. Uh, now we have Blanche. 
these cards that I have are the Golden Girl cards. The Golden Girl cards. <laughs> so you have Blanche on the top with a cheesecake. Okay, she's the devil card, which is known for Capricorn. And then here we have the High Priestess that comes in. When the High Priestess comes in, it shows that you have some divinity within yourself. Meaning that if you were to really tap into your own energy, you would probably be able to communicate with spirits as well, like candy. You just have to unblock yourself. This is also a sign of a motherly figure that comes in that lets you know that she's with you at all times, okay? And then we have here the page of wands that comes in. When the page of wands comes in, it came in a reverse. This means that you cannot travel at the moment, right? It's a travel <laughs> So I think we know that, you know, in Australia, you guys are having somewhat of a difficulty going anywhere. But when it comes in a reverse, it's stating that you can't, there's certain things and restrictions that you cannot do. But that doesn't mean it's going to be forever. This card can be flipped meaning that you are going to travel a lot around the world. It's going to be something that's of a high caliber travel. Page of Wands comes in um, stating that you have a long journey ahead of you. So things are going to start to open up for you and you're going to have the ability to, to go far distances. And then the King of Cups comes in. This means a lot of love coming your way. It shows it's the highest level of love. It's the cancer card. And it shows that there's a lot of people out there that really, really love and care about you. Okay. Mm. So now I'm going to go into Sonia. Okay. Sonia. Sonia. Thank you so much. That is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Sonia, do I have your permission to take you your do. energy? Yes, you do. Can I please have your name? Sonia Karras. Sonia Karras. Got Sonia. All right, let me. Let me do a little shuffle. I just love the way they say Sonia. Sonia. Oh, it's just it's oh, me yeah. too. In the, Brooklyn, in, the, in the Brooklyn accent. So good. <laughs> yeah, but ca got, but Candy, you're from Brooklyn, the Bronx, yo. aren't you? You're from the Bronx. Is that right, Candy? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm from the Bronx. <laughs> so so down. just while you're shuffling, every week we're going to have somebody – or something about New York because we kind of refer to it as our second home. We've done, we've worked extensively over there and we travel over there a few times a year before this crazy pandemic happened. So this is our uh, Sonia and Sasha New York minute segment. Here we go. Here's my cards. I think that that what? means I've got the same card as Sasha. You Are you serious right now? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. We've got the same card, but this one came out towards the end. So we got a little bit of a warning here for you, but look, okay. she got the same card on the bottom oh as well. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. The Capricorn in reverse. Now, when you get a Capricorn upright, that means that you're balanced, that you're at your highest, right? When it comes in in reverse, this means that you might be getting into a little depressive state. So be aware of that. Be careful with that. Okay. Um, the hermit card is the top card. This means that you need to do a little soul searching for yourself. So that way you don't allow your energy to, to fall. Okay. You want to make sure you're always at your best. Okay. But then we have the five of wands in reverse here. This is almost like a rivalry or like a challenge. Like someone, they want to challenge you. They're not saying it, but when a five of wands comes out, it's like a competition. It's almost like somebody doesn't like you and it's all good. You know what? Because that's what we do to the haters. We shake them off, right? Mm -hmm. Because in this world, if people don't like you, that means that there's something that you're doing that is correct, yep. that they are envious of that. So you got to always make sure that you keep your head up. Fuck everybody. I don't know if I can curse, <laughs> but fuck everybody and keep it moving because the next card is the lover's card. This means that you have a lot of love and abundance in your life that people really, when the lovers drops down, this is a sign of, of someone really caring about you and really wanting to make sure that you are at your good, your highest and your greatest level and at the best part ever. And there goes that, you know, that pesky card that it's uh, Sophia <laughs> trying to get out of here. So you're trying to get out of Australia <laughs> and it's like, no, nope, you can't go anywhere just yet. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to. You're, you guys are both 
going to really, really beautiful places. You're going to meet a bunch of wonderful people and you guys are going to soar. Okay. Oh, I love that okay. reading. Isn't that amazing? So we have three of the, we have three of the same, same cards. cards. That's ridiculous. Absolutely. Candy, Candy has something to say. Go ahead. Baby. Um, I feel as though, you know, just, um, have more patience. You know, I know this kind of <laughs> I'm laughing because that is Sonia. That's why that's why the depression card came out because I have zero patience, zero chill. Yeah, I, I need to get out got of here. That message. Something something in my head just came into my head and just said she needs more patience. Yeah. I know this time at this moment you're you're kind of feeling like um you know stuck and you're feeling as though like time is like of the I essence mean, so. and you kind of mm -hmm. want to just get out there and you want to get mm -hmm. things going mm -hmm. um but be patient i do feel as though you're gonna be all right yeah um yeah yeah you know what, do you know what's gonna happen <clears throat> do you know what's gonna happen on my gravestone there will be sonia has finally achieved patience now she's dead that's what's gonna happen <laughs> Glass. Like these yeah, are the she's out. Yeah. She's out. All right. So let's get into these astrology okay. signs. Who's up first? Who's All up right, first? So we've got Brim Bank Live, Live FM. This is where Sonia and Sasha, for real, we have Charlie and Candy here. We are now going to give every single star sign. Well, not we. I mean, as in us, I'm talking about Charlie and Candy are now going to give every single star sign a reading about themselves. Go for so we're it. Starting with, who are we starting start? with, Charlie? Okay. So I'm going to start with Aries. I'm just putting the cards down. So they're all going to go face down until I get to the signs. Hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's so crazy, Sasha, that we had th <laughs> three of the same cards. It happens to us all the time. We have yeah. such identical lives. It's, it's mm. incredible. Yeah. And you know why I'm depressed? Because I'm <clears> homeschooling. <throat> That's why yeah. I need to get the hell out of here. Let's <laughs> go crazy. So so for accuracy. All the signs, sorry about that. I'm sorry to cut you oh. off. No, go. What do we got? Aries so, first. The bottom card. So this is for all the signs. The bottom card is letting me know the overall energy for everyone. This means that a lot of people are very emotional, very high level of emotion when the King of Cups comes in a reverse. The King of Cups, like I said, is a very high loving card. It's cancer. So it's a big love. But what's, when it's in reverse... It means that emotions are high. Everybody's very touchy. A, a lot of people are very annoyed. They get annoyed super quick. And it's just like, you can't tell mm -hmm. anybody anything because they start to flip out. A lot mm -hmm. of the main reasons that it's happening is because of money. Money right now mm. is something that everybody's worried about. Mm -hmm. um, so just calm down. Things are going to start to get better and things are going to start to open up for everybody, especially out there. Um, because when I did this shuffle, this is mainly for the shuffle for, for you guys out there in Australia. Later on, on our show, we're going to do a reading for everyone. Um, so right now, Aries comes in first. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. When the Ace of Wands comes in in reverse, this is letting me know that you have got to start thinking clearly, Aries. If you keep thinking the same things over and over again, you will not get the same results. You're going you're, you're gonna to get the same results. If you keep mm. thinking about the same shit, you have to change the way you're thinking. You have to make sure that this card comes in upright because if not, you're going to keep repeating the same patterns. Okay. You want to open up, you want to open up that box that's in your, in your head and allow new things to come in. So that way you can get new energy. Okay. Aries. The next sign that comes in is Tauro. Tauro has the devil card. So when Capricorn comes in for Taurus. So hang on, it's for Taurus here. Yeah. For the non-Puerto Ricans here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so when Capricorn comes in for Taurus, this means be careful with overindulging, okay? You, you can see that things might look good. Right now, everything looks good, especially if you're in quarantine, but you don't want to overindulge because what's going to happen is you could potentially have a shock. Your health can start to kind of get uh, really, really bad because you're overindulging on things that you shouldn't. That goes in for, you know, um, anything that has to do with addictions. You could be addicted to food. You could be addicted to sex. You could be addicted to alcohol. If you're overindulging in that, 
it is not going to end well. Okay? okay. Warning. Right. Warning for Taurus. Next sign, Gemini. Gemini comes in hey, with Eliza, the strength Eliza, card. Eliza, our producer is a Gemini. <clears throat> okay. The strength card, Eliza, comes in for you guys on the Gemini side. This means that you feel stronger than ever. You might have very good vibes that are coming in or that if they haven't came in yet, they're going to start to come in. And when that good energy starts to roll in, just go with it. Don't allow anything to get in your way. Know that the strength is behind you. And if you do start feeling down or depressed, just always kind of keep in mind that you have the power to within, within yourself to switch. Because Geminis have those two personalities that everybody so loves to talk about. So whenever you feel depressed, change it, okay? Change it so that way you can just reach to the, to the top, top, top of the, of the limits that you have, which there shouldn't be any limits there, okay? Keep moving up to the sky. That's all. Gemini. <laughs> moving on. Going into Cancer. Cancer, you guys have a warning as well. There's the emotional side and the negativity that comes in. When you are in your head, anything that has to do with swords has to do with mental energy, okay? When you are in your head and you are not allowing anyone in, because cancers tend to go into this shell. When they don't feel like they're comfortable, they go into hiding kind of thing. This mental trap is like putting yourself in a mental jail. Find a hobby or something positive. Because if you are just sitting there and you're not doing anything positive or productive, mentally, it can cause a lot of depression and a lot of problems for you. So you need to clear your energy, okay? One way that you can clear your energy for water signs is to actually put your hands in water. I know that you, usually I would tell people to go to a body of water, try to go to the beach or try to go to a lake. I know it's difficult for you guys, but you can have water that comes through your house and you can submerge yourself in it. Put a bubble bath or do anything, especially when you get angry or you get depressed. Submerge yourselves in water and you will feel the energy coming through your body and you will see how quickly things will change. Okay, Cancer? The next sign that comes in is Leo. Leo with the Seven of Cups. When the Seven of Cups comes in, that means that you have a lot of choices that are coming into your life right now. Some choices may be very good looking to you, meaning that you might really like what people are saying, what people are showing you, what people are telling you. Don't just jump on the first offer. Think about what whoever's offering you something because there's different cups that are around. Some have snakes, some have masks of people that are not good and then you have some things that are really good for you what this card is saying is for you to take your time and not allow somebody to rush you into making any decisions figure out what you're doing um before any of this um gets into the way and could be your downfall all right that's for leo the next card is for virgo we have the five of swords in reverse Virgo, right now, it's your time to shine. This is your season. This is your month um, for your birthdays. Try not to be so argumentative with people. You know, when we have the five of swords <laughs> that comes in in reverse, that five of swords is basically saying to stop allowing people to get the better of you. Stop allowing them, them to get into your mental and just go with the flow of things. Keep on the positive and things will get better. Okay? Are we good? But good. Okay, We're just looking at time. Yeah. yeah, I know. The next one is the Seven of Swords for Libra. This is a very sneaky card. This means to be careful with those people that are around you that do not have your best interest. If someone you feel is being sneaky, cut them off. Just walk away from them. And if you feel like you can't, then just, just leave. You know, just say, listen, I'll talk to you later. I got to go. Okay. Libra, pay attention to that. That's very important. Going into Scorpio. Scorpio is the three of wands. When the three of wands comes in, this means to watch what is happening around you. Pay attention to the things that are happening around you because 
you might miss something that could be really, really good for you and that could come in when it comes to work, okay? So just pay attention to that, Scorpio. The next card is for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we have the Six of Cups that comes in. This Six of Cups means that someone, someone from your past is going to come into your life again. The person's going to have good intentions for you. So allow them to come into your life. Let them speak their piece. And if you like what they say, then, you know, you can be their friend again if you want. This is someone that you stop talking to. So pay attention to that. It means that they're coming in with good intentions, okay? The next card that we have is for Capricorn. Here we go. Capricorn. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> the Empress card comes in. When the Empress comes in for Capricorn, it means regal, royal, the queen of all queens. So Capricorns, you need to start looking up and realizing where you belong. It's time to stop <laughs> being negative, okay? <laughs> I always end up smacking Capricorns because you guys are one of the most stubborn signs and you need to see and realize your worth and where you belong, okay? Because you guys have the Midas touch. You tend to always take something that's crap and turn it into gold. Remember that. Don't let anybody treat you fucked up or any kind of way. I'm sorry, I don't think I could curse, but whatever. Um, and just keep your head up at all times. I'm from Brooklyn. What do you expect? Okay. <laughs> Ralph, I take you guys having like a conniption <laughs> in the background. <laughs> so we got two signs left. The next sign is Aquarius. Aquarius, the two of cups comes in. This means that there's somebody that might be tickling your fancy right now. Just go with the flow and enjoy it. If uh, in the future something happens, it could be really, really positive. If you have a wonderful person that's making you happy, just go with the flow of it. Allow it to be. Even if it's for the moment, embrace that moment and allow the love to come to your way. And last but not least, we have Pisces. Woo! You're fishy, 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 fishy. You know what? Pisces comes in. Pisces right now is the six of swords. This means that Pisces wants to leave, okay? Just as bad as Capricorn wants to leave. <laughs> Pisces wants to leave. They Get are the boat with us. That boat to get that dinghy that you were talking about. That they must have all been Pisces because look, <laughs> this is them. <laughs> okay. So when this card comes in, this means you really want to leave a situation. Mentally, you've already checked out. So if you feel like you're mentally not there, then you know what? It's time to just kind of go with it and just say, I need my space. Allow me my space. If you do not open your mouth and you don't know how to communicate with someone, that's where the problems lie. Take it out of your head because it's all swords. Swords is all mental energy. Get it out of your mind. Speak it into existence and let the person know exactly how you're feeling. So that way... You don't have to sit down and cry all day, Pisces. Okay? Oh my God. And that's Shelly. your charming awakening reading, your oh, astrology oh, reading. Charlie, thank you so much. Thank Katie, so thank you so much. We have. We're so, we're so excited. Go away yet because we want to, we, I just don't want to let go of you guys because it's oh. been so fantastic and you have just been so giving. This is Bring Bank Live on Live FM. Sonia and Sasha for real. Please don't go away for our last segment. I knew that we couldn't let you go for the last bit because you've got <laughs> some readings that you want to give away to some of our Yes. Listeners. So we want to announce those right after here. Thank you yes. so much. No You're problem. Very Thank you. Sonia and Sasha for real. Bring, bring back live, live FM. Uh, thank you so much for coming back and listening to Brimbank Live and Live FM. You're on the Sonia and Sasha for a real show. We just had readings live on air from Charming, King Charming, Charlie and Candy, all the way from Brooklyn, New York. Ooh. And oh, I feel better. I feel really good. Like I got, I got my little quick reading of the cards. Sasha and I had three cards that were the same, which is just so us. Um, but, you know... It, 
I think that goes to show that um, a lot of people will want to know, are we really, really friends outside of what we do on radio? And that is 100%. Like we are, you know, we're yes. friends all the time. We talk all the time. We travel all the time. We hang out all the yeah. time. Our kids hang out. So it's not just like what we're doing here. There's actually so much more the layers of what, the levels. You know, you were talking about the levels. There's the levels of what we are and what we do together. And, you know, I feel like sometimes I'm a little puppy dog. Sometimes, like, you know, we'll, <laughs> Sonia and I will be travelling for two weeks together and then on the last day I'm, like, standing next to her going, I don't want to go away from you. I've been hanging out with you 24 hours a day and it's still not enough. All right. Thank you so much, Charlie and Candy, for what you guys have done for us and the information. You're absolutely right. Sometimes when you do get a reading, it really does open you up and, mm-hmm. um, and start to see possibilities. And just when you just say something small like, you know, um, you've got the strength to be able to get through this, it really does give you the ability to reflect on who you are, to be able to go, yeah, you're right. And, you know, Sonia and I battle with that bloody worthiness word out of control. Like it's just like, am I worthy? Am I worthy? Am... And then when you yeah. say that, it's that's our word, Sonia. That is our word. Mm. Like we're constantly going, are we worthy? Are we good enough all the time? So you were one hundred percent spot on with that as well. Um, yeah, I have to smack you guys. Yeah, exactly right. right? <laughs> we, well, we, we are both like, Capricorns. Well, so we kind of like that. We kind of like that. So can we just? <laughs> we kind of like that. So can we please say we've got some readings? You want to give away some readings to our listeners, and not only will we probably do it today, we're going to probably keep going and giving away readings because you have just been so incredibly generous but with this show we're going to announce right now three listeners that have been incredible with our social media because we're Mm. about valuing our listeners and giving back to them so they're going to get a reading from you so we've got Marianne Gazio, Matthew Moffat and Vanessa Boracino they're going to be contacting you they have won a reading right now and they'll be able to contact you and um, get a reading from you in private Yes. So thank you so much for that generous stuff. But we also want to tell you what's been going on over here in Australia. Yesterday we had a really special day called Are You OK Day? And that's where, do you have that in America? I think we do, but I've never really heard of it. I'm pretty sure we do have. I'm pretty sure, but, you know, we're, we're not really, I mean, I really don't even go on social media like that. I tend to just drop things because I have so many people that send me messages. And Mm. so I really don't go on things like that. Mm. Um, Also, it kind of drains your energy, but I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah. Well, this was a really special day and this was about us making sure that not only do we check in with ourselves to make sure that we're okay, but we also check in with other people. So, you know, that is where you contact someone and say, hey, are you okay? How are you doing? But the next level from that is not just to check in with them and say, hey, are you okay? It's actually to listen. So when someone says, how are you going? You go, yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. But to actually go, no, how are you? And give them that space to be able to listen to them and give them the freedom to be able to speak how they're feeling. So I think that as, yeah, it's a really important thing. But I guess one of the things that we're also passionate about is not only making sure that are you checking in with somebody else, but are you actually checking in with yourself? Because Mm -hmm. we're our own best friend and, you know, we're dealing with this thing right so you know are we are how are we doing like are we feeling like we're on purpose in the life that we're living do we feel like that we're contributing to society are we getting enough sleep are we getting enough exercise how are we feeling within ourselves are we mindful enough so you know are we even meditating or And even, you know, for us, we can't spend time with friends, but are we able to check in with our own friends? And so it's not just about making sure somebody comes in and checks in with you. How do you contact somebody else and go, hey, I really actually need to talk to someone or or reaching out and getting therapy. I mean, it's all over the place. I'm in therapy and I've been in therapy my whole life. Like, I think I was born and I just went, I need a therapist. Do you know what I mean? So (laughs) That's where I come in. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, and not to be embarrassed and not have it feel like there's a stigma that you can't actually, um, you know, reach out to someone and talk to them about that. We're about to go, how can people find you? Because you are about to do a Facebook Live with a whole, this is much more intense than what you've done in our show. How can people find you guys right now? Well, you can look us up on Facebook. Uh, Charming Awakening um, is our business page. Also, we do have Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can find Charlie at King Charming. Also, 
you can find me dolled up underscore candy candy so, with an eye not a y candy with <laughs> candy eye. And the eye. And mine, <laughs> mine is king charming 718 and if you go right after if you go on to charmingawakening.com on facebook like candy said we are going to do a live it's going to be longer it's going to be more detailed and uh, every sign gets a chance. You know, we usually do two segments uh, and they're probably like an hour, hour and a half, two hours sometimes. The whole show Amazing. is usually like almost like three hours long, so. Well, thank yeah. you so much for joining us today. We can't believe that we've got collected such a beautiful array of friends uh, over there. And we're so proud to bring you to Australia and show off our amazing people over there to all of our listeners thank and all of our people you. in Australia. So please follow Charming Awakening on Facebook and on Instagram and Doll Up Candy. And next week, we're going to have another guest uh, who's actually local who will give us a bit of an idea and understanding about what her journey was like in New York, but she's all about food. She's from a, a previous master, master chef. chef. And uh, yeah. if you want to check OK Day, just Google Are You OK Day? has some amazing tips on how you can check in with yourself and somebody else and make sure that everyone's feeling OK and accessing support. And we will see you next week for another show of the Sonia and Sasha for real. Uh, we're going to have some new music for you. And we can't wait to see you next week. So enjoy, everybody. Have a beautiful week. We love you from Brimbank Live on Live FM. You've been listening to the Sonia and Sasha for real show. Bye. 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 Sonia and Sasha, for real.